Uh, today is a Members' Wednesday. Uh, we start off as normal with questions to ministers. The first question, Simon Bridges to the Prime Minister. And the fourth question, uh, Paula Bennett to the Prime Minister, are the same. Uh, does she stand by all her government's statements, policies and actions? Question two, Kiritapu Allen to the Minister of Finance. Uh, what reports has he seen on the New Zealand economy? Um, Amy Adams to the Minister of Finance about growth. Um, Paul Goldsmith, question five, uh, to the Minister of Transport on Auckland traffic congestion. Uh, Michael Woodhouse to the Minister of Health uh, about Pharmac. Duncan Webb to the Minister of Revenue uh, about secondary tax. Paul Goldsmith to the Minister of Regional Economic Development. Does he stand by all his statements and actions? Uh, question nine, Alfred Naro to the Minister for Child Poverty Reduction. Uh, why is it that seven of nine indicators for child poverty increased between 2017 and 2018? Uh, Reno Turakatni to the Minister of Civil Defence about storm damage on the West Coast. And David Bennett uh, to the Minister of Corrections uh, about the safety of corrections officers. There's no question 12 today. Um, the Greens use their question irregularly. They sometimes give it to the National Party, uh, but today um, it, I understand it was not taken up. We then go to the general debate, uh, 12 uh, five-minute speeches. The Gore District Council, uh, the second reading of the Otama Rural Water Supply Bill. Then the Canterbury Regional Council uh, Bill, the first reading of the Naitahu Representation uh, Bill, the, uh, and then on to Members' Bills, the Arbitration Amendment Bill in the committee stages, the name of Andrew Bailey, the Health and Safety uh, Volunteer Associations Amendment Bill, the continuation of the second reading, the Employment Relations Triangular Employment Amendment Bill, uh, the second reading uh, of that, and the continuation of the first reading of the Protection for First Responders and Prison Officers Bill, uh, which is in the name of Derek Ball. Now, this is slightly interesting, uh, this bill, uh, in that uh, Mr Ball is away, uh, and instead of uh, him replying, uh, Business Committee yesterday uh, made an agreement for someone else to speak on his behalf. That doesn't normally happen for non-ministers. And there's a possibility uh, of getting to the first reading of the Broadcasting New Zealand On Air into Mangai Pahu Reporting Requirements Amendment Bill, which is in the name of Melissa Lee.